Hello everyone, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm doing something a little bit different, and I will be reacting to an awesome video that I saw of the Perseverance rover landing. This video is from NASA, which is one of the coolest channels on YouTube, and I th think everybody should be subscribed to them. And the video they uploaded today shows us the landing sequence of the new rover, which was launched on July 30th, 2020, and landed on February 18th, 2021. So I guess one could say good things did eventually come out of 2020. And so the reason I wanted to take a look at this video is for one, it's space! That's right, and it's about Mars. And on this channel, I will spend a lot of time talking about space and engineering and all these cool topics. And yes, even about our planetary dreams, to colonize the stars above and to think about what it truly means. I find these, this topic and this video truly inspiring and exhilarating because it shows us that we still have a deep-seated nature to explore the world around us and to look at the stars and dream of a bigger world. And yes, to strive to pursue our intellectual curiosities all the way to the ends of other planets. And B, it's a pretty cool video. And I will add some commentary trying to explain some of the things that are happening in it as uh, we watch it together. And so, you know, without further ado, let's start at the top. And I only promise to pause once at the very beginning. All right, let's begin. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Applicate indicate shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. All right, I'm just gonna pause the video here for a second and go back a little bit. So, well, we kind of see, uh, we see uh, two cameras here, one go uh, going at about 30% the speed and one going in real time. And the reason they do this is because the overall speed of the craft is uh, really, really fast. So right now, the, as they said in the video, it's going at about 450 meters per second, which is about a thousand miles per hour. Um, and it's about 12 kilometers or seven miles up from the surface. And at that speed, um, it would reach the surface in about 26.85 seconds. So this is quite fast. However, the parachute is going to slow the overall descent. Um, and something really kind of interesting is the parachute is about 70 feet in uh, diameter or 21 meters, which to put it in a little bit of perspective is kind of like a semi truck uh, with a trailer. And the reason this thing is so huge is because Martian atmosphere is about 1% that of Earth's, so you need a much larger uh, diameter of a parachute in order to slow down the descent. And again, this thing is going incredibly fast. So um, let's let's get back to it and let's see uh, all the other steps here that have been about happening. 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Oh, there goes the heat shield. Heat shield set. Man, that thing's Perseverance gone. Perseverance <laughs> has slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. Man, that's really beautiful. Man, that heat shield is gone, which by the way, protects the bottom of the rover and it protects it from shear and heating forces that could potentially damage some of the instruments as it's making descent. Um, Nav filter converge. Velocity solution 3.3 meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second, 6.6 .6 kilometers above the surface. Right, they just confirmed that their instruments are in fact working in picking up the right signals. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. So that's about uh, going about 200 miles an hour right there uh, towards the surface. So the parachute has worked and slowed down the craft a lot. The lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We right. have priming of the, the engines are engine. working. They confirmed that on the rover. Nope, oh, there, there goes the chute. The velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. 
We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. The back shell we is parachute. We are currently parachute. performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. So they're trying to get away from the parachute so that it doesn't interfere with their flight path. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about That's 300 about 60 meters miles per hour. off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. So the sky crane is uh, it, it's 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 pretty sky much like a drone that kind of hovers above the surface, and right about now the twenty meters off the surface. It's twenty meters. That's about seventy feet or so. So it's kind of hovering itself into position. It's lowering uh, the uh, the okay, rover down into position. Tango Delta. All right, there Tango it goes. Confirmed. It's disconnected. Safely on the surface of Mars, ready <laughs> to begin seeking the sands of past life. All right, exciting. Sweet, that was pretty legit and exciting and cool. I just uh, love that sky crane because uh, it drops down um, and <laughs> it lets the rover come down. And then it just bails out of there. It just goes and sacrifices itself to the Martian surface. Um, so that the ro so that the uh, rover can just go ahead and start roaming uh, across the surface. So uh, let's give a moment of pause to the unsung hero, the parachute, and of course the sky crane, which itself, their sacrifice was not in vain. So another thing that's really cool and interesting about this video is that the footage that NASA and JPL are looking here is actually 14 minutes old. So it takes that long for the signal to traverse between Mars and Earth. So whatever has happened on that surface has happened for 14 minutes. And we're just kind of sitting here, crossing our fingers and hoping that everything went okay, which it did. Um, so truly good news. And it said, like, the delay is just really interesting to observe here because it said, like, this thing happened 14 minutes before anybody else saw it. So now this little rover, which, by the way, when I looked up at the dimension, is, uh, isn't even little at all. It's uh, 9 feet and 6 inches in length and 7 feet and uh, 3 inches in height. Uh, we'll be exploring the surface with its powerful 110 watt motor, which uh, if you know anything about power and electricity, um, isn't really actually that powerful. It's about as powerful as a couple of fluorescent light bulbs. Um, so now we'll be zooming around Mars uh, at a speed of about one foot per hour uh, with all those horses um, underneath its hood. But, you know, you may seem a little slow, but it has to be this because there isn't a lot of traction on the Martian surface. So it has to really, like I said, really position itself very well and monitor very, very precisely because on the surface of Mars, if this thing gets stuck, there is no space AAA yet.